So I'm throwing the drop shot here. I'm using a night crawler, inflated worm. Uh, the water level's low. It's gotten lower here at Castaic, so I'm assuming the bass has moved deeper. So it's pretty tough this morning catching a bass. Hoping my luck will change. It's peace and quiet out here. I only see one angler, nobody else. I might move to the main ramp if I don't catch anything in probably the next half hour. Last time I was here, there was a lot of bait fish swimming shallow. But of course the wall, oh, there we go. Come on. It doesn't feel pretty big, it feels pretty small, but it's fighting, it feels like a smallie here. Oh no, it's a striper. Caught a small striper on the night crawler drop shot. Check this out. Come on. There we go. So you can see, got hooked at the top of the mouth here. Should I keep this or should I let this one go? I caught a striper last time here at the West Wrap. It was a good size too, probably like a three pounder. This one's like half a pound. Quit moving. Uh, little tiny striper. Yeah, I think I'll let this one go. Okay, go ahead, swim off. So that striper again was caught on the drop shot using an inflated night crawler. I have a worm blower that I use. I can show you how I rig that up. And with the night crawlers, I do keep it in a little cooler bag just because if I leave it out in the dry or out in the sun, these worms do tend to die pretty fast. So. Um, I keep these night crawlers in a cooler bag, have some ice here. I'll keep it fresh, keep it alive. So I nose hook it. Oh, let me see if I can fix this. There we go. Now the problem with these night crawlers, they do get messy. Get slimy and messy, get dirt all over my fingernails. So I'll nose hook it, hook it a couple of times. Uh, maybe one more. Right, so after I hook, I have a here the magic worm blower. I bought this at Walmart. I think it was like three bucks or so. Stick it in there. I inflate the worm so that it floats. And this is how I've been catching bass, stripers, and trout. Some people say night crawlers, live baits, cheating. It is, but it works. It catches fish and it beats getting skunked. So let's try this again.
see a few bed fish out here. Let's see if I can catch them. Oh, I'm on. Oh, no. I was getting bit. I was getting bit. Let's go. I see a bass right there. Right there. Looks like a bed fish. Do I even still have my worm on? Let's see if I... Oh, I'm on! Look at that! Oh, no! I was on! Like a decent sized fish. Probably a two pounder, two and a half pounder. Oh, they're here. I was fishing the wrong area. I was fishing the wrong side. I think I'm on again. I'm on again. Here we go. Look at that. I'm on again. Nice. Ooh. I'm going to take this. Not bad. Drop shot night crawler again, baby. Not bad. Take a look at this. I'm out here at the west ramp towards the uh, the ramp here, the dock. And I was fishing over that side, caught a small striper there. I came over to this side and I see a few bedfish here. Here, let me try this out. It looks, looks a good spot. Okay, so I had Caught my second fish using the drop shot. This time I'm going to use a single worm Texas rig. Uh, and the reason why I'm using, decided to toss this one out is I've been watching a lot of Roland Martin's fishing videos on YouTube. Uh, and he's been catching a lot of Senkos on, I'm sorry, catching a lot of bass on Senkos and Figured, let me try this. I really do enjoy watching his videos, especially when he's spank fishing, because that's what I primarily do. Uh, but like what I said earlier, I feel like he exaggerates a little bit with the fishes he catches. No disrespect to him or anything like that, but I just think it's funny. He does catch some big fish though, and they're entertaining to watch. But he'll say something like, ooh, it's a five pounder, son. It's a five pounder, five, six pounder. And he grabs the fish and from five pounder, the fish already becomes a seven pounder. It's a funny man, I enjoy watching his videos. All right, let's see what I can catch here. Most of the fish I catch have primarily been on the drop shot rig. I've caught a few. Oh, nope. I've caught a few using Senko's Wacky Rig style, hence the name Wacky Maverick. Uh, the name comes from well, Wacky. I started catching fish out here at Castec using the Wacky Rig method, and then Maverick. Well, I'm a fan of the movie Top Gun. So that's how I got the name Wacky, Wacky Maverick. Yeah, let's see. I know there's a few more fish. There has to be a few, be a few more fish here. You can see there's a little bit of vegetation here. That's where I saw the bass hanging out. I think I'm 
sufficiently strong. Roland Martin makes it look easy. Oh, let's try here. So excited, I finally caught my first crankbait fish. Lipless crankbait. Let's go, baby. Let's go. It's a small one, but I'm sure gonna take it. Ooh, look at this ugly foul hook. Oh my goodness. That's terrible. I. Look at the way I caught this fish. It's the LV500. I was vertical fishing it. Oh my goodness, it's terrible. I say it's terrible. Look at the way I'm pulling the fish. I'm a bad person. I'm just afraid of getting hooked, hopefully. Um, My first crankbait fish on the LV500. I was fishing it vertically. It's a small fish, but I'm so excited. My first crankbait fish. LV500 on this red crawl looking color. Oh, that made my day. Okay, let's toss you back in. Okay. There we go. Aww. It's a small one. It's been at least an hour since I've caught my last fish. I have here a little small largy. I actually think I caught a trifecta today. So I did catch a striper this morning, followed by a large mouth and a smallie. All right. Let's see what else. There has to be bass here again. There's just some... I know you're in here.
There we go. Oh, look at this. I've caught four different species today. I think this is a bluegill or a crappie or a bluegill. I have no idea. I've never caught this fish before. Oh. How do I even grab this? Look at this. Look at this fish. It's like a crappie or a bluegill or I'm not even sure. Pretty neat. Gotta take a picture of this. Back on. It's fish number five, I believe. Number five or number six? I don't remember. But this one doesn't seem too bad. I got a little bit of gut hook here. Okay. Thank you. On the drop shot again. Let's go for another one. <laughs> 